So since we've uh, went down so much over the last week that the market kind of rebounded a little bit today, but traditionally, you know, September is a down month. Mm -hmm. Do you still see that happening or like how will the rest of this summer, August, September play out for the stock market? Um, August and September are great buying opportunities. Please put it in chat. I will not worry when the stock or investment that I want drops to the price that I want. Mm-hmm. Let's be very honest. Spot as much. And, and there's a difference between media reporting things for clicks versus real chaos. Spy went to an all time high. It pulled back a little and everyone's acting like we dropped 25%. It barely moved. NVIDIA hit a high, went to 107. Everyone panicked. You have a chance to buy. So August and September will be a little bit tougher because of some of the geopolitical stuff. Blackout will get to some geopolitical affairs that are happening. Oh, my God. Mayo, hold your head. Um, but we haven't had this big of a drop. If we're going to be very honest, Mm-mm. it's been it's been barely. This is like light rain. It's not a tsunami. If Spy gets back down to 535.99, you can look to buy them. But to go from 565 down to 537 is not that big of a drop. Please stop worrying. Everything is a okay. Yo, yo. <laughs> you, 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 you got something you want to say about the market? Uh, Apple up or down? Down. McDonald's up or down? <laughs> up. Tesla up or down? Down. You didn't see those earnings from McDonald's this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you missed out on, on earnings for real. What does the man that feeds a tiger say? <laughs> man, for real, they, they, they had a nice little push up though after that. After they bought about a two fifty, yeah, two sixty two. I think, I think it's about on. Um, and this is part of of what we talked about uh, during the class was like, let, let, yep. don't. This is not cause for panic. We're, we're talking about a, a pullback of. Of eight percent, not even nearly, nearly eight percent. Yeah, we're talking about the Nasdaq and and the S and P was down maybe three or four percent. This is this is not even correction territory. Um, this isn't even like you know they they keep using the word cyclical and it's going into the smaller cap companies and everybody's talking about oh you should look at the Russell. But I don't. I mean, it just it doesn't it doesn't it's not lining up that way. In fact, we always talk about the summer months being a little bit slower and and why volume is important and why we should look at that and that's that's true. But I think what what happens tomorrow and Wednesday with the Fed decision will I think that changes things a little bit, right? <laughs> now the percentage is at I think ninety five percent chance of a of a rate cut, and we're not talking about a quarter point. Now the likelihood is that it might be a half of a point, and so if that rate cut comes yeah. in September, that changes things, right? Now we're changing that's things. That's going to change some things, and so you might look at last week as an opportunity that you may have missed at this point. Right when we when we saw some of these these, these companies when we saw Lily pull back fifteen percent from its all time high when we saw Super Semi pull back forty five percent from its all time high Nvidia yep. was down twenty five percent from its all time high Apple was down over twenty percent from its all time high even Microsoft these companies that we talk about all the time and you're wondering should I find a spot to get into these we said it and I think. You, you are a little bit more stringent on yours. You want to see a, a, a little bit like a 35 to 40 percent pullback. I was yeah. like 30 percent is a good yeah. number, right? 20 to 15 to 20 is really good. If I get over that, I'm really happy. But when you start seeing 40 percent pullbacks, this is an opportune time, right? So it's, this isn't panic time. Find your position, find your number, your entry point. And then execute. I think that's the most important piece that pe- like it's like you can hear us talk and you can hear us say it. But when you look at your brokerage account, are you mm-hmm. going to make the move? And yeah. it was an opportune time. And we'll see. Like I said, this week will be very indicative, obviously, with the earnings reports that are coming from those mega caps, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple reporting. Yep. It's going to be an interesting week. It's going to tell us a lot about how the August will look and definitely how September will fare as well. Listen, Fashion Over won't even send an email out if it's 8% off. Like, 8% <laughs> is nothing. Like, when you get 15%, like you said, from Lily. I get uh, some of the political unrest right now. Um, if Beyonce and Taylor Swift come together and do this fundraiser, JD Vance, well, you may have to step down. It's gonna be <laughs> tough for you. <laughs> hey, shout out to all of y'all who uh, asked me about Palantir for two years. I do think Peter Thiel is one of the greatest fin- financiers in tech history. But if you like Palantir as a stock, why don't you like JD Vance as a VP candidate? One and the same. 
Big. I'm not a fan of JD Vance, but this JD is me. JD Vance. JD Vance. 